Okay, we're going to have a quick overview of how you would embed video within a Muse document. That's an Adobe Muse document. Okay, so I'm going to have a go at um, embedding a video from YouTube, and then also I'm going to have a go at embedding a video from the archive.org, um, which has um, copyright free. Um, movies, videos you can download uh, and use. This means the copyrights run out on them. Um, so it's got lots of resources on here, um, which is really good that you can use in projects. Okay, so we're gonna have a go at um, opening up Muse. So we open up Muse. First thing you do is go to File, you go New Site. Now, I've covered how to get going in Muse in previous tutorials on my channel but um, I'll just come in here and I'm going to say um, delete the um, padding 20 to zero uh, here and then I'm just going to leave it on the desktop the default desktop which is going to be 960 and then I click OK you end up with the sitemap and what you'll need to do on the sitemap is you can set up a master document and whatever's on the master document will run right through your project. So this is where you would set up things to do with headers and footers uh, like that. So we've set that up and then I could you know, get a, head, a footer at the bottom. Now, if I now go up here and I go back to the plan, here's my master and it's automatically put it on um, my home page here. If I try and open up the home page and try and edit um, this, it won't work. I need to go back to the master on the tab or, or go back to the plan and then double click on the master. And once you've done that, then it will allow you to edit it. So you have to bear in mind what you're on. And sometimes people get confused and put absolutely everything on their master page. You only put your main content, headers, footers, navigation um, things that will run right through your site and then you leave the spaces and add the content on the actual pages right so that's set up i'll just open up my home page and i'm going to put on um, a video from youtube to begin with so if i go to youtube very simple you click on the share button sometimes these might be turned off but here it is we go on to embed you get it to show more and it allows you to say how big you you know you actually want it. I'm going to just leave it on a 560 by 315, the smaller size there. Okay, I'll just copy um, this. Then I'll go back to Muse and I'll just go to Edit and I'll go Paste. Uh, a little bit of time here and there it paste in there. If you used Muse before, as you push your content down, it makes the page bigger. So I'll just put it here. And then you can just style your page however you want to do that. You might want to put some um, text or different colors at the side here, you know, put something on there. And then you might want to put a, a, a text box on here. Yep, you get the idea. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is then um, go File, Preview in the browser, it come up and there we have it and I'll we'll play right so the next thing I'll do is go back to um, the archive.org site I'll get a movie now on the movie pages you can control click or right mouse click and actually download the movie but and save it in a site folder which may make your site folder really big. If you just want to link to it using an iframe, what you do is there's an icon down here for the share. And if I click on that, um, it comes up here with the top, the embed one. So all I will do is highlight that. Now you can actually change the size it's going to be if you wanted to, the pixel dimensions, if you wish. I'm just going to leave it as it is. I'm going to copy it. Again, I'm going to go back to Muse, and again this time, as I did before, is I'm going to paste. Again, it will just paste it in. Now it hasn't generated a preview. Sometimes it doesn't do that. Let's do it with YouTube there, and I'll go save. Right. So I'm going to save this in a, a site folder. My project. I'll call it my site. Okay, and I'll save it on the desktop. 
and then I'm just going to call the project. I'm going to call it vid stuff. That's going to be my uh, muse file. So I'll save that. Now I'm all saved up to date. So what I'll do is I'm going to preview it. I'm going to see what happens now. So I'll go file preview in the browser and it comes up and there we have it. So here we have this. We press that. Whoops, it's gone full screen. I'll just take that back down again. So that plays and I stop it. Okay, so that's simply how you could just set those up. Um, and again, within my site folder, you know, I've got this. So all I'll do is when I'm finished and laid up all my movies, I will go file and then I will go to export as HTML. I need to type in a web address. It wants that to locate resources like fonts and web fonts that it may have. Make sure you navigate to where your folder is. Mine's on the desktop and it's my site folder and you save it in there and then you export it to there. Now when you export it, it'll automatically open up to play it. Um, but if I open up my site folder, you will see down here, that's my Amuse file I just saved. It'll give an XML file. It gives a style sheet file with a number of style sheets in it. It will give a HTML document. That's what it's generated. It'll give you this manifest, which is work it's doing to output all this. And then you'll have some script files um, if it's using any uh, things to do with you know, JavaScript. But how I can see that, I can just open that as an ordinary document. I can draw, oops, wrong one. I'll just get the HTML document here, index, and drag it and drop it on here. There you go, okay? Simple as that, and that's how you would do um, embeds uh, for video.